Hello everyone and welcome to the class. My name is Audrey and for today's reading lesson we will be re-looking at an article about internet privacy. Okay, so all of us are users of the internet, um, maybe avid users of the internet and we spend a lot of time on computers and today's article is going to look at internet privacy. Okay, so this can be a very important topic for some of you who are concerned. Uh, there's a lot of data out there always about us on the internet, so uh, it seems to be important to keep that data private. Today's lesson is going to be not just reading, but uh, speaking, so if you are interested in this topic of internet privacy, after we read the article, of course, we're going to have time to discuss. So sorry for the little bit of a late start, had a little bit of te technical difficulties, but I hope that all, all um, levels are going to join this class and that it will be very helpful and useful to you. Okay, so right now again is our premium period so those of you who are premium members can join now and in just a moment we'll have the rest of our um, viewers join. Hi Mario, how are you? Hi Audrey, how are you? <laughs> very good, very good, it's nice to see you. Yes, <laughs> me too. Okay, great. So, I'm still okay. loading. <laughs> You're still loading? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. There's there's some uh, problems, I think. That's why it took me so long to get this class started. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so that I noticed, uh, also, when it takes a long time, uh, you usually um, lost the verb link chat also. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, so. so maybe we won't have verb link chat today with us. <laughs> but that's okay. We can still use Google Chat, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's see. It looks like everybody is able to join now. So if okay, you've been I mean, watching, go ahead. Okay. Um. Good. Mario's in. Pavel, how are you? Great. It's still loading. You can't talk. <laughs> okay. Very good. Very good. We'll come back to you. And we have Shelley. How are you, Shelley? Hi, teacher. Uh, nice to meet you. I think this is the first time I join your class. Oh, very good, very good. I think so too. So it's wonderful to meet you. Where are you from, Shelley? I'm from Taiwan, but uh, I have been living in Japan for many years. I'm oh. living in Osaka, Japan now. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. Yeah. And what, what took you to Japan? Uh, because my husband's work. So after we got married, uh, I, have to, I had to move to Japan. And uh, we also have lived in China for seven years. <laughs> oh, very good. Yeah. So you so you've lived just about everywhere, right? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> very good, very good. Pavel, are you are you there yet? Yeah, no, we everything is okay. Okay, yes, very good, very good. So it's nice to see you today. Yes, it's nice to to have on your like uh, lessons again. <laughs> yes, yes, wonderful. And remind me again, Pavel, where you're from? I'm from Poland and I have 25 years old. Okay, very good, very good, from Poland. Let's see, we also have Tural. Welcome Tural, how are you? We can't hear you, you might need to unmute your microphone or it might still be loading so we could come back to you in just a moment. Okay, so if it's done loading make sure to unmute your microphone but we'll come back to you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started even though it's a small class, that's okay. Maybe we'll have some some classmates to join us. But again, this is a relook at an article about internet privacy. So I think most of you are um, haven't seen this before. It was a couple months ago that we looked at it, but I wanted us to take another look at it um, as things have changed a little bit in the past few months. Okay, so let me put it up 
on the screen. And hopefully, since we have a small group, we're going to be able to discuss it a little bit more, okay? okay. So here is the article. Let me post a link in the Google chat, since I don't trust the Verbling chat. <laughs> so there's the link of the article in the group chat. If you have any trouble accessing it, just let me know. But um, as always, we're just going to take turns reading the sections, after which I'll let you know if you have any pronunciation mistakes, and we will discuss it, OK? OK. So let's start first with Mario. Mario, would you like to read the first section for us? OK. OK, it's coming just a, a little fuzzy. OK. This has been a tough few weeks for privacy rights on the internet. Google changed its privacy policies so it can combine the information it collects from different sources, including Gmail, searches, and web browse browsing to make a more complex dossier on who he, he, are, he are and what we do online. Okay, very good, very good. So um, here we're talking specifically about Google and its privacy policy changes. So does anybody know about these changes that Google made a couple months ago? Have you heard about it? Not really. No. Okay, so, so Google made a, a couple changes, um, you can see, and basically what it does is it collects all of the information from all of your Google accounts and puts them in one area. So think about all the things that you use for Google, or at least that I use. I'm not sure if you guys use Google for everything. Um, but, you know, you have your YouTube, Google Maps, Google Reader, all of these different Google applications, and um, they all collect different kinds of information. And what Google did was it took all of this information from all of its sites and put it together to make kind of a complete history of everything. Okay? Hmm. So what do you think about that so far? So a bit scary. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is a little bit scary. I, I looked on mine. It's called the dashboard, the Google dashboard. And you can look at all of your information that Google has on you. And it is pretty scary because especially with the maps, you can see exactly which locations you've been at. And it, it's kind of strange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, any other comments? But uh, I wonder why they collect all this information. Why? Maybe because someone paid for it. You you get everything for free and then sold you, you everything what they have about you. Yes, this for is example, a price. <laughs> the price example, to pay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so, so you might think that maybe, maybe this information is collected because um, using Google services are free, so they have to make money somehow. Uh, maybe they sell it to people. Okay, um, good. Any other ideas? How else could this information be useful to a company like Google? Because maybe when new firm do research for example to, to do new product on the market and they have uh, information what people inform and everything is there. Everything mm -hmm. people sign. Right, exactly. So maybe if they're trying to develop a new product or put a new product on the market, uh, they have a lot of data to use to come up with something. Anything else? Any other ideas? Hmm. I wonder if they make money from this service, for example, uh, selling our uh, information to some companies or to do some marketing research. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so maybe it is definitely a possibility. 
So yeah. let's let's. Um, oh, did you want to say something? Okay. That's fine. Okay, we'll continue. So, um, Pavel, could you read the next section for us? Okay. Uh, and the Wall Street Journal reports that Google okay. and other online advertising companies have been bypassing the privacy setting of people who use Safari, the popular Apple web browser. Okay, very good, very good. I just wanted to point yeah. out a couple of words for you. Hi, Mon, how are you? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very good. Welcome to the class. It's nice to have you. Okay, so we'll come back to you in just a moment. Um, going back to Pavel, let me point out a couple of pronunciation uh, corrections, okay? Okay, okay. So this one right here, this one right here, advertising. 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 Okay, perfect, perfect. And this one, privacy. 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 Okay, perfect. Everything else was great. So, um, what is this one saying? What is this section saying? It is connecting. It is connecting with people who use Safari. It is mm -hmm. some, some, uh, some journalists, some journalists from the Wall Street Journal find a connect between one uh, one browser and the other one. This okay. Is, this is connected. That means. Yeah, yeah. And what does it mean that the companies have been bypassing the privacy settings? What does that mean? They neglect. Sorry. Can you say again, Shelley? They neglected. Right. Exactly. So if you're bypassing those settings, you're neglecting them, and you're collecting information despite the privacy settings. Okay, very good, very good. So this isn't just Google, it says Google and other online advertising companies. Okay, so that seems kind of risky. Maybe that they're uh, neglecting the settings that you put on your computer to protect yourself. What do you think? It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's a bit uh, strange because, uh, well, uh, although uh, with internet, uh, digital things like this, everything is possible, I, I think. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I, I think people have to be warned where they're being used for uh, about the information, I think. Mm -hmm. the, the only thing that annoyed me is uh, the fact many <clears throat> of people that are using internet do, do know, does not have has any idea about uh, the fact that uh, <laughs> companies collect information about them. Right, right, exactly. Any other comments? Okay, you know the thing that struck me when I read this was that I know there are sites that collect information but um, Google is a site that I personally trust, and so so it's kind of nerve-wracking. Um, maybe that they're not um, betraying that trust, but but that they're still collecting information. So even sites that you trust might be collecting this type of information. Hmm. Okay. Maybe no. when the Google was found, it was everything for free. And no. it isn't I'm all Google, but later someone may be bought uh, Google. Uh, this is new Google, but the name is the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it could be, it could be. Um, yeah, but maybe things change, times change. And um, I'm not saying that you should not trust Google, but, but it's just something interesting to, to think about. Okay, any other comments? Why uh, why you don't trust Google? Well, it's not that I, I don't personally trust Google, but it's that this article talks a little bit about all the information that Google collects from its users. 
So, so they're collecting information from, from the browser, from YouTube, from Google Maps, from all of these other things. And, um, and we're not really sure what they're doing with that information. Maybe they give it to CIA. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, we'll never know. Yeah, so... so. I have seen a lot of Facebook. With, uh, yes, they it, say it, it, they give the information to CIA so they can know where uh, are you going or where are you now. Like, you, if you, especially if you sign up, sign into any place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so you can definitely, if you sign on to Facebook, they pretty much know exactly where you are. Uh, when and what you, you like and what you mm -hmm. So it's a good point. There are sites, um, not only Google, but other sites that have and collect a lot of information. Yeah. Okay, very interesting. Let's continue to the next section. Shelley, would you like to read it for us? Okay. In the middle of these privacy blow-ups, the Obama administration announced a new set of online privacy policies, a 62-page document called Consumer Data Privacy in a Networked, uh, networked World, a framework for protecting privacy and promoting innovation in the global digital econo economy. Okay, very good, very good. So now we're talking about something here in the U.S. that the Obama, Obama administration is trying to do to protect this privacy. And that, that's a very long name for a document, but uh, what do you think that this document uh, is trying to do? It's try to block other company from uh, uh, taking the information belong to you and uh, put it in their, uh, uh, what you call, in their uh, engine so mm -hmm. they can know what are you going to do or what are you doing or what are you browsing about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... I think that what they, tr they try to block them from knowing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so maybe we'll learn a little bit more specifically what this 62-page um, document is for. Um, any other comments? And I haven't been asking about questions, but if you have any vocab questions in the paragraph, make sure to ask them so I can uh, help you with that. So if you have any uh, words or phrases that you didn't understand in the paragraph, um, just let me know. So I any comments or questions? I don't believe in that document. I don't believe. You don't because believe in it. Why? I don't believe it. Why? Because I think it is it is something Obama wants to do to to close people mount to people feel uh, a safety. And that is everything. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. we know we know about it. The Google is uh, watching on us all time, all time, and not only a Google, but uh, that document should close. Close our mouth and I because it is why and this different different questions why that document should change it because it isn't in their business. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. So so you don't trust it. Uh, you don't trust it, Pavel. You think that Obama just created this document to get people to be quiet. And Sorry, uh, I don't know what happened to my connection. Oh, no problem, no problem. Um, so, so what do others think about this document? Do you trust it? Do you think it could be good? I mean, we don't have much information about it yet, but what do you think? I don't I think know. I... Go ahead, uh, Shelley. We'll start first with you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, I, okay. I think it's a good idea, but I'm curious about how they can uh, make it be real because uh, I want to know, uh, for example, if Google do this kind of thing that uh, they uh, do something on our privacy, will the American government find them or punish them or what they will do for them on them? Yeah, good point. So, so you have to think about what the consequences are. Um, 
Mario, go ahead. Yes, I, I remember uh, when uh, Obama was first elected. Uh, it was uh, uh, rec uh, received uh, a group of children in the White House, and uh, the conclusion, uh, his message for the t his children is, uh, is was to say to them to be careful about anything they are going to put on Facebook because. Any time uh, uh, anyone can use this information against them, uh -huh. so it was the the advice that Obama says to the children. So it uh -huh. was very very strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very interesting. So, so how do you think, Mario, that that reflects on this new document? So. Uh, Anyway, I think we have to be very careful about the uh, internet. Is the very good media to 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 use, but uh, it's not only the way you have to do to express yourself. See, if you really want to express yourself, yourself, you don't have to go to in Facebook, for example, to tell things because you you will be uh, uh, seen. Oh, I, I think uh, this is a, a, a bad habit to to for certain people who just uh, have the the they 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 just want to share things, but you know have you don't have to share everything. Mm -hmm. you can just right. use the the tools. So to have some relationship, but you don't have to say any everything. Mm -hmm. And some right. people, uh, I think, um, especially kids, kids could be very, uh, very. Um, I don't know how to say that. Very. Um, yeah, they they not uh, really aware about the the danger of. Uh, Saying anything. Say. Right, right. Yeah. So, so they don't think about what they're posting. They don't think about yeah. um, who has access to it and these things. Yeah. Okay. Um, very good. Very good. Mon, did you want to add something? Are you there, Mon? Okay. Maybe not. Um, let's go next to the next section and see yes, it's what it's we here. have. Yeah. Uh, could anyone uh, summarize just the main idea because I have just entered the class? Oh yeah, sure. Welcome. It's it's Mahdi, right? Yeah, right. Okay, uh, very good, very good. I think so. Who, go ahead. I I think the Google has to let the people know the information. The one they take and the one uh, they use, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and where they keep it, and uh, and where they, in what they use it for, I think. Yeah. Right, right. So, who wants to give a a really brief summary of of the other things that we talked about in the paragraph so far? Help our friend out. <laughs> it's, uh, it is from Silver. It is short and brief information, brief notes from uh, for Silver. Yes. Uh, if you know what we were spoken. It is uh, we were spoke about Google. Google are uh, what to do Google. Google uh, collect our information uh, about everything, about everything. Uh, we suppose suppose they the information are sold or or collected. We don't know where, but we we know to to know they know about us everything. What we do, where we are and what we share, who we know, who are our friends, everything, everything. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So this this article talks a little bit. It starts off talking about Google in particular, 
but it, it's a more a more general um, article as well because it's talking all about internet privacy um, rights and laws and now we're talking about a, a document that the Obama administration suggested or uh, came up with to protect those rights on the internet. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay, very good. So, Matvi, would you like to read the next section for us? Okay. The White House had the right intentions, but it is not clear that these politi poli policies will have the, te the teeth necessary to effectively protect people's online privacy. Okay, very good, very good. So we have an interesting expression here. It's not clear that these policies will have the teeth necessary. Has anybody heard that one before? No. No. Okay, it's kind of like, um, let's see, like Shelley was saying before, you thought it was a good idea, but you didn't know how they would enforce it, right? So that's what it means to have the teeth, to be able to enforce something, okay? Uh, okay. So it's not clear or we're not sure if these policies will um, be able to be enforced to effectively protect these people's privacy. It seems difficult to protect all of this information just with a document. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, mm -hmm. so are there any questions, any other questions? No. Everything's clear. Yeah. So what are some comments? Yes, it's uh, like uh, we were said before is the uh, the, the, f the fact uh, that uh, the White House want to protect but uh, there is so many information and uh, it's something you can control said so so company uh, uh, who, who um, hold uh, different uh, online uh, sites uh, can uh, could do anyone anything uh, to mm -hmm. to anyone? You can uh, so you can have any control about internet. I think, and uh, you just have to 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 be. Um, to be confident or not, mm -hmm. you don't have choice. Yeah, yeah. So, so what do you think, uh, others in the class? Do you think it's possible to have control over internet privacy, or is it all up to you? You're the one who has to be careful about what you're posting. Uh, I think with that huge information, uh, it will be very hard to keep them. Uh, it's our uh, job. Mm -hmm. To be careful. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anybody else? Uh, yes, I have a teacher who was fined about, uh, I think, in the American dollars, about what? 200 American dollars just because she posted a blog post and blamed, uh, blamed her doctor that he is uh, stupid. But actually, he, she, is a, she was a victim because she got the surgery and it failed. So uh, she was very poor and she blamed the doctor, uh, said he is stupid. Then the doctor uh, sued her and asked for a fine. So it's wow. a really bad experience. I told my children that don't say bad words on the internet. <laughs> Yeah, wow. Yeah, that's that's very interesting because we think that we have um free reign to say anything on the internet, but No, um, no, not really. Of, you, you have right. to be careful. <laughs> yes, yes. All that data is accessible to everyone, so you do have to be careful. Sorry, what? What's the story? Can uh, you say again, Mom? Uh, I didn't oh, you asked about the story? About yeah, go ahead, Shelley. Uh, the story? Yes, please. Oh, my teacher uh, got a surgery from a, a hospital, but it's a failed, a failed uh, surgery. So she actually, she was a victim, but then she went uh, logged on to her blogs and uh, 
blamed on the doctor, saying that he is a stupid doctor, and uh, I hate the hospital, something like that. Then the doctor sued her that uh, it's uh, <laughs> so they. Uh, I think it has spent about two years on this issue and finally my teacher had to pay about 200 US dollars or 2,000 I think, sorry, 2,000 US dollars. Wow. Yeah, yeah, and really wow, bad, yeah. very, very bad experience. So be careful on what you said on the internet. Yeah, wow, um, wow. very interesting. And did that, where, where did that happen? I'm just curious. In Taiwan. Ah, uh, in Taiwan. Yeah. Okay, very interesting, very interesting. So, uh, are there any comments about that story? What do you think? In some day they can know everything about you. They just go to your profile and Facebook. Mm hmm okay. <laughs> it's dangerous and scary. Mm -hmm. They can know everything about you. Right, right. Anything else? Yes, uh, I, I think this is uh, the same about uh, kids who been sued by uh, the system where they uh, write uh, things on the internet, for for example, Facebook or or else, because uh, a lawyer cannot defend them because everything has been written, and <laughs> they really <laughs> say this. <laughs> they. <laughs> They write, they write all these things, so you can defend them. So just have to be. Yes, it's a, it's a shame. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Everything is permanent online. It's yeah. all written down. So. Oh, sorry, uh, my math is too bad. Uh, it's two hundred thousand U.S. dollars. Oh wow! Just yes, because I'm of cool. a word, the stupid. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking wow. it must. I was thinking it must be more because it's so much trouble yeah, to sue yeah. somebody. Yeah, my math is too bad. <laughs> no, that's but okay. But did she say the name of uh, the hospital? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's the problem. Oh. <laughs> she talked about the hospital and the doctor, and but uh, we know her situation because she was really. Uh, she ju just got the bad surgery, and she said the doctor lied, lied her. So it's not so good. But the doctor just promised that he can, he could but care. But she uh, couldn't uh, sue him, uh, like you know. <laughs> Yeah, and the zoo had uh, costed my teachers a lot of money at the time. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! Wow, that that is a lot of money, definitely, and especially when she has to pay for lawyers too to defend herself. Yes, yes, yes. It could be even more expensive. Yeah, right. Okay, um, very good. So we have a, a good example of how um, this information can be used against you. So let's go to uh, the next section. Um, Mon, would you like to read it for us? Um, okay. Uh, uh, the White House has the right uh, intention. The one underneath. It is, uh, it is no great uh, secret what the uh, fighting uh, over online privacy is about. Many internet users want to be able to browse the internet used search engines and view websites without an, anyone keeping a, rock, a record, a record mm -hmm. of it. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you. Um, so, so we can see why people might want privacy on the internet. Everybody wants to um, visit their sites without having somebody watch them. Any questions here? Yes. Uh, why didn't they say it's not a great secret? Why did they say it's no great secret? It's no great secret. That's a good question because it seems like it's grammatically incorrect. Um, but it's the kind of expression. It's no great secret. You, um, more of an expression than grammatically uh, correct there. Is it also uh, for uh, WhatsApp? Is it the only? Uh, Sorry, can you ask again? I mean, uh, 
Is it uh, also for WhatsApp? You can say anything like. Um, I don't quite understand. What do you mean? I mean on WhatsApp, you can't say anything like you know, like Facebook, like uh, MySpace, like many webs, social website. WhatsApp. Yes. Are you talking about the the uh, app? Wide program. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> okay, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it uh, includes that. Uh huh. So, so maybe. Um, but I wanted to go back to that question about it's no great secret. Um, maybe some of you have heard the phrase "it's no big deal." It's no big deal, meaning it's not uh, something that's very important. So we have a couple different phrases that start with it's no. Even though it sounds wrong, um, we have uh, phrase, common phrases that start like that. It's no great secret or it's no big deal. It's okay? no, long, no longer exist. Right. Yeah. You could say. You could say. So here it's it is, not it has. Right. It is. It is. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, um, good question though. Any other questions? Okay, um, let's go ahead to the next section. There's um, some more to talk about here. Um, Mario, would you like to read it for us? Okay. People do a lot of things online that they may want to keep secret. For example, looking up symptoms of disease which health insurance companies may consider in writing coverage and visiting polit uh, political sites which the government might want to know about. Okay, very good, very good. Just this word right here, it should be diseases. 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 Okay. Right, great. Um, everything else was good. Any questions here? What do you mean by in writing coverage? Okay, yeah, so we're talking about here health insurance companies may consider okay. in writing coverage, in writing coverage. So coverage for an insurance company is how much they protect you. Yeah. For in, in this um, health insurance company, how much they will protect you if you have to go to the hospital. So for writing coverage, they will consider um, the diseases that you currently have in order to um, charge you different amounts. Okay. Okay. So that's one way you can uh, see how this information could be used in a negative way for you. So maybe if you're sick and you're looking up symptoms for some type of disease, the health insurance companies could get access to that and they could know what kind of diseases you have. That way they can charge you more for coverage. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and the second part, uh, visiting political sites. Maybe if you're visiting these uh, sites that the government doesn't want you to see, uh, they can know about it and um, do whatever to maybe stop you or, or do something. So these are some other ways that maybe we don't think about that people could use our information in a um, negative way or against us. So what do you think? Any comments? It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but I mean these are things that could really be dangerous for for these companies to gain access to. And the data is out there. It's just a matter of them gaining access to it. Okay, uh, uh, very interesting. Go ahead. I didn't know, I didn't know before the, uh, that the health insurance companies may use this uh, information. It's the first time I heard about it. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that they don't use it currently, or at least I don't believe they use it currently, but this is talking about what they could do in the future yes. with this information. This is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So if they 
could gain access to this information, they could use it um, against you. Okay. And um, th go something ahead. also about your fut future employer, for example, you can mix research on you before he hire you because uh, if you have some compromising picture in <laughs> Facebook, <laughs> mm -hmm. things like this. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yes. And I think that that already happens. A yeah, lot of yeah. employers lot, do, yeah. do look at that um, on Facebook. So if you're in the job world, you have to kind of clean up your your profile. Exactly. Okay, yeah, good point. Um, any other comments? No. Uh, I'm not sure if my information is correct or, or wrong because I've heard that even you clear your uh, information, any posting on Facebook, it's still there. Yeah. <laughs> is that true? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I bet that somewhere it, it still exists. I bet um, it depends maybe on what kind of information it is. So so maybe if it's something like um, but, uh, I don't know. I, Go ahead, I, I think he, I think everything is possible because uh, in uh, uh, IT system you can do everything with uh, database. So mm -hmm. you can have uh, an account of Facebook and uh, write things deleted, but uh, the action of deleting could be an action to record uh, uh, some uh, somewhere el uh, somewhere else, for example. Right. And I think uh, uh, they can do anything. They must. They can make you believe that uh, the information has been erased, right. but it, it could be a lie because. Uh, in my profession, I know I, I'm uh, IT. I'm belong to IT system. You 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 can do anything that you want with database. For example, in Facebook, if you uh, create an account and you want to delete it, so the uh, the account stay about uh, I think 30 days open. Mm -hmm. uh, at any time, you can uh, if you change your mind, you can. Uh, go back and then you you will retrieve your information like you <laughs> were never uh, 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 dismissed this uh, uh, the, the the account. So I, I think uh, I'm really sure about it. If someone quit uh, Facebook after some time and uh, uh, for example two years after he come back, I'm sure there's there's a way to to re it could retrieve retrieve his information. Right, wow, it is scary and it's scary <laughs> now. <laughs> Made me think of the law of uh, the law of conservation of mass. Yeah. <laughs> that, you, yeah. you know, that that tabas is something is it, it doesn't take any place about uh, any hard drive system. You know, it just uh, uh, write things. You know, it don't take any place, so they can keep that uh, in uh, other database to so you can I, I don't <laughs> I don't know that something <laughs> can be erasable yeah so so very very scary even if you get rid of your Facebook profile and I do know that that like you said um, you can delete it and it still exists um, you yeah. can still access it um, yeah. after you delete it so um, very interesting um, any other comments? I think that everything uh, have a backup. That uh, nothing is deleted. Uh, real. Mhm. Mm yeah. So all you need is somebody who is able to access it, and all that information is still out there. So I think that's what's really important about um, being careful what you post because once you post it it's very difficult to make sure that it's gone okay but, yeah you, you know uh, just something else uh it's it's a kind word because uh, uh unlike before uh before people uh you have to investigate about people to get information about them now you just have to uh, 
to go somewhere in a social network and just give all information that company cannot find by the by themselves about you. So you just give them the information that uh, it like in their database, for example. And I think it's a, uh, it's a kind of thing. It's really mean the fact that the services all are free. But people are free to give information in return. Mm -hmm. Right, right. So I like how you said that. Um, you know, before we had to investigate, and now we're just giving our information. Yeah, exactly. We're not, we're not really thinking about how to protect it. And I think we're all guilty of that. Even if we're careful, um, we're still giving so much information. Um, but very interesting. Okay, let's let's continue and see. Um, what else we have? Pavo, could you read it? The next I have, one. Wait. Uh, oh, I have oh, go a ahead. For Mario. I have a question for Mario. Yeah. Uh, uh, are the programs that uh, change your uh, I, IP uh, good? May they uh, they not know your information? Sorry. Okay. Can you repeat? Uh, there are programs that uh, shows uh, another IP address, not uh, yours. Uh, can they be helpful? Ah, you uh, you you mean by misuse uh, your uh, IP address that you? Yeah, uh, to show another IP address on your uh, laptop. Ah, yeah, uh, but uh, you on you, you always belonging to. A provider. The provider give you the access. So the provider of has any information about uh, the the way you connect and things like this. Even if mm -hmm. you go to the network and to change uh, like uh, something to deter uh, your IP address, but you still have access to one unique provider, and this provider uh, mm -hmm. can have all information. It's like la where, where you go to the bank, you go to the bank, so you have an account, so you can you 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 just have uh, one uh, path to enter in the bank with your real information, okay? And then when if you are in the bank, so you can try to dis disturb something, but uh, the the first entry with your real information is still there. Uh -huh, yes. Oh, very interesting. So there's no way to hide. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. So it's good, Maria, that you know these things. I think it's very yes, this interesting. this is my, a kind of my profession also. <laughs> <laughs> it's wonderful to have you be able to explain some of this to us. <laughs> Thank okay, you. Okay, um, very good. Pavel, would you like to read the next section? Okay, when technology, co technology companies keep track of online activity privacy, problems radiate out in all directions. These companies could sell the da data to people who will do harmful things with it, including employers who could use it to wet potential hires. Okay, very good, very good. So most of this we have already uh, mentioned in our discussion. Um, we have, have the last sentence, of course, employers who could um, use it to vet. Also, to vet is like to examine, to examine potential hires, um, which uh, we had already discussed and Mario had brought up. They, they already do that. So this isn't talking about the future. This is here and now. Okay. Um, uh, I didn't get uh, vet potential hires. I didn't understand. Yeah, to vet is to like to examine. Uh, potential hires. Oh, potential hires. Um, yes, potential hires would be um, people that they are thinking of hiring, potential employees. Uh huh. Okay. 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 So, so like we had mentioned, employers can use this to look up their employees and see if they want them working for their company. Okay, any other questions? No. So let's go to the next one, since most of this we've already talked about. Uh, Shelley, would you like to read it? 
This kind of data can easily end up in the hands of the government, which can subpoena it from the tech companies. And suddenly, we are living in a big brother state. Okay, very good, very good. That word right here in the third paragraph or in the third line is subpoena. 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 What does it mean, subpoena? Does anybody know? No, no idea. No. Okay, so um, it's saying this kind of data, the online data, can end up in the hands of the government. So to subpoena something is to ask for it in court. The government can subpoena it from the tech companies or ask for it in court. Uh -huh. okay. okay, so if they subpoena the information, it means the tech companies have to give it to the government legally. Mm -hmm. So even if it's in the right subpoena, even if it's in the hands of the tech company, it can easily end up at the government. Okay. Also wanted to look at this phrase, "Big Brother State." Who can explain what it means? A Big Brother State. It's relating with uh, the the show, uh, Big Brother. Brother. It's it's not related to the show really. The show's like a um it's related with the book. Right, the book. Tell us about mm. the book. Mm, well, I don't read the book, but I think it's uh it's about a society society that is controller or untracked and tracked by the government. No? Mm -hmm. Right, exactly, exactly. So in this book they talk about Big Brother, um, Big Brother being a society that's always watching you and a government that's always controlling you. So it's a commonly used phrase from the book um, that means um, a very controlling society and very controlling government. Okay, so if we can, if these tech companies have to give this information to the government, um, suddenly we're living in a big brother state, or suddenly uh, the government and the society is controlling everything that we do. Okay, so it's a big jump. Do you think that it's true? I think that this is happening now. Okay, yeah, yeah. So so you think that it's not something that happens in the future, it's something that happens now. Yes. Uh, currently, Google uh, knows you better than your mom or, or yourself. I think so. Yes. Yeah, I think so too. <laughs> it could be. Okay, um, very good, very good. Any other comments? <laughs> Okay. Let's see what else we have. And um, Mati, could you read the next section for us? Okay. Uh, if my internet users. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, Mati. Me. Yes, you. <laughs> If many, if many internet users strongly oppose the technology of this sort, internet company would personalize personalize the wait. I see it. The text. Oh, you can't see it. Yeah. Um. Can yeah. you can you access the link? Personalized uh, consumer data is, is, ma is marketing gold. It can be used to direct behavioral advertising at internet users, targeted very specifically to their, to their I can't read this word, tasks? Tasks? Tastes. Tastes. Tastes, yeah. Okay, very good. So what does it mean, we'll start right there, what does it mean their tastes? Mm. Their habits. Their habits, yeah, it could be. 
um, their habits or the things that they like and prefer. Yeah, they prefer. Right. So we have behavioral advertising is our advertising that is targeted uh, to a specific person because of what they like and what they prefer. Okay, so this is another way that we haven't really talked about that companies could use um, this information for this behavioral advertising. Has anybody noticed some of this behavioral advertising on uh, Facebook or on Google? Have you seen any of it? No. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, go ahead. Mm. Uh, What's meant by behavioral advertising? Yeah, behavioral, behavioral, advertising. What's behavioral by? advertising is that advertising that they use data that they know about you, they know what you like and uh, the things that you do on the internet. They use that information to show you something that they think you will like. Uh, yeah, yeah, I see something. Mm -hmm. So maybe on Facebook you'll see an advertisement for a store that you frequently go to or an advertisement for um, a restaurant that you talked about earlier on Facebook. So they use some data and this is again something that also happens now. They use that data to, to project advertisements that they think you will like or that will appeal to you. Okay. Um, what do you think it? about that? Uh, go yeah. ahead, Paul. My friend, my friend found a Facebook. Found a Facebook. He has on a Facebook one day or maybe two day, and he asked me because he wondering why his girlfriend, ex girlfriend, was on the first place to to invite to invite her to invite to invite person. He don't believe. Because he never watch on her uh, on her site on a Facebook, no don't no one now knows his, it is his girlfriend, and he was wondering why she is on the first place to invite her. They the Facebook propose her to to her join to her to join her uh, friends, and this mm -hmm. is very wired. This is wired. Yes, that, and this is this is simple for that uh, for that discussion. Right. That. But when you create a Facebook account, uh, you allow Facebook to share in your contacts, in your mail contacts, <coughs> and maybe it's for that reason. Mm -hmm. like yeah, it, yes, it's very strange. Uh, I had a similar experience where. On Facebook, they suggested my one of my boss's children as my friend on Facebook, and you know I have no connections to them, but it's strange how they know that I know them, even though there's no trail online. Somehow they know that um, I know that person. So it's it's very strange. It seems like there's more information even than we know. It's a proof um, that uh, they have all the information. Yeah, somewhere, somewhere they have all this information. I don't know where. <laughs> but it's very interesting. Um, it looks like we're running out of time. Um, are there any last comments? Any last comments about the article and the topic? No. Be careful. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Be careful, everyone. Be careful. If there's anything you learn today, it's to be careful what you post, right? Yeah. Okay, very good, very good. So I'm going to take the screen down. Thank you, everybody, for being in the class. It was very interesting, and yeah. we had a lot of different stories and perspectives. So thank you for sharing. I hope to see you in the future, and have a wonderful day, okay? Okay, same to you. Okay. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye -bye. Take care. Thanks for the